Hello, 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 my lovelies. How are you doing? How's your day? How's your week? The sun is shining. <laughs> um, although, all oh, saying that, though, I, I was walking up this morning and uh, bumped into my neighbour and I said, oh, isn't it lovely? Love the weather. And she went, oh, it's going to rain this afternoon. <laughs> so <laughs> I better get out while it's still shining. Um. Right, so it is the first week in May, uh, but it is my second week um, of this month's uh, pay paycheck cash stuffing thing me jiggy. Um, I have this week uh, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 5. Yay! <laughs> um, so I'm sorry about the previous episode being. <laughs> I felt like I was talking really quickly um, and trying to rush through things <laughs> so I'm sorry about that um, I, I've got a bit of a thing I, I'll get the <laughs> sorry so the past couple of weeks well the past month but the past couple of weeks um, I had a couple of incidents um, <laughs> the first one is um a uh, pup decided to eat my glasses <laughs> it's my fault um he's really good he doesn't tend to eat things that he shouldn't um but i left them in an area that he's allowed to um you know reach <laughs> so he decided to see if they were chewy and clearly they weren't um so I've had to go to the opticians, have another eye test and um, pay for some new glasses and that was quite expensive. Um, I also had a very unexpected bill. Um, so my glasses were 250 the unexpected bill was about, oh well, I, I did notes. <laughs> the unexpected bill uh, was 150 and Etsy um, because I'm on Etsy now and I've been making bits and pieces I've, I had to buy some laminated sheets I had to buy some paper then I had to buy some card because I didn't like the paper <laughs> postage and packaging all of that stuff and things I've just rounded it up it, I've spent about a hundred pounds over the past couple of weeks um, uh, getting Etsy all sorted so sadly um, my £900 emergency fund is now 400 On the good side, <laughs> if I hadn't have had my emergency fund, certainly £400 I would have had to have found out of nowhere. <laughs> and that would have been devastating. Um, so, yay! <laughs> Although I'm sad that I had to dip into my emergency fund, I'm also patting myself on the back that I had the emergency fund if... Oh, I think I rave about this every week, but it, it's just transformative, this saving business. Um, it has saved my bacon so many times. Um, I, I started in Jan um, for the first time and the number of times it's helped me, um, you know, pay for things or, or get out of a, a, a situation. Um, so, yeah, brilliant. Thank you to everybody that had inspired me to start doing it um you're all amazing um so <laughs> off with the waffle um this week i am putting my first five pounds into coffee and treats which is actually um takeaway and pub visit <laughs> um i was gifted this uh by manifestation budget thank you thank you um this i wrote it down this is by save save more live more um they've got some lovely things on their etsy uh, i would definitely recommend uh checking that out um so i must have taken five pounds out i don't know how <laughs> but there's a tick so five pounds is going in there so that's squares that up nicely and then I was going to faff and put you know five pounds here and there and whatever um but no I am determined I am absolutely determined to get one week ahead finished this month so I am going to put in 30 pounds 
which brings my one week ahead to 24 to 60, 81, 24 to 60, 82, 24 to 60, 83, 24 to 60, 80, deep breath, 4, <laughs> 20, 30, 45, 4, 45, oh my goodness me. Um, so that means each letter in petrol is 5, so I can cross off £20 in petrol and I'll do the half camera and then I will knock off another letter in the tens which means da -da 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 -da, I only have £40 left to go into that and then that is done and I intend to stuff that when I unstuff my completed challenges next week yay <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. It'll be so good to see the back of this. I'm, I'm so motivated by seeing all that money, but that was hard work. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that means then that my beautifully fully funded emergency fund now has to <laughs> uh, take out fully funded... I've got £400 left in there, which is still a great amount. Um, I'm not sad, um, but I do. I mean, it just goes to show that I do need to have like an emergency fund somewhere. So that when I finish the one week ahead, um, we will be focusing on um, the emergency fund. Yay. <laughs> OK, so. That is that. Um, the other thing, oh yes, the other thing that I, you see it's good I wrote down notes. Um, the other thing was I need to take out 25 from health uh, because I needed two prescriptions. So it's a good job I got this started. <laughs> um, uh, two prescriptions and what else did I get? Oh, <laughs> I've been told I'm, I'm deficient in something or other vitamins wise so um but i've still got 50 pounds left so what i'll do off camera i will update the tracker my goal is to get it to 100 you know it's it's gonna dip and ebb and flow but i want to get it to 100 just to have that little safety safety net if it's needed uh so the 25 i'm going to pop in the bank i go to the bank on saturday and that will be done uh, quite pleased about that actually <laughs> so i i started in um cash stuffing in january and i'm already feeling a lot more secure about like you know my finances my financial situation you know i've still got a bit of debt um but i'm gonna tackle that after i've got christmas boosted and saved um but outside of just the tiny tiny amount of debt you know I, I feel like I've got quite a lot of little pots growing um but when did you start cash stuffing and how how is your journey going um I've got no pennies I I put loads of pennies in um in the last video which means I've got no 20s and I've got no 50s <laughs> and I've got a new one um this saves 100 or well, there's 100 icons and I thought you know sometimes I'm doing these um, savings challenges and I'm like oh I haven't got anything for a pound so it made me think let's make one <laughs> so this is going to be for any stragglers it's it's not going to be a priority just like these aren't but if I have any stragglers I'm just going to pop it in here and then um yeah save save 100 hopefully I might downsize that a bit if I get impatient though <laughs> Um, yay! So I have my May challenge. You are amazing. <laughs> you all inspired me to create this one. Um, I have told myself that I am going to put 10 in just to get that started first week in May. Uh, it is a five. Oh, hold on. I'm going to put that at the back so I don't try stuffing it. Um, it is a five. Oh. Okay, well, that's going to go... Oh, 
that's going to go to the bank because <laughs> it's a really ugly five. Um, so I'm putting, oh, actually, that's what I, I put 10 into May. Uh, there's five weeks in May, so I don't have to put 10 in every week, but I just want to give it a bit of a boost. Um, nosh, dosh. This little beauty is also going to get five. And this one is also going to go towards my cheeky pub visit and takeaway. But what I thought was, I was I was kind of just putting five pounds every other week or so into the um, into the takeaway fund. And, you know, I'd get to, to 40 and then it'd be like, right, straight down to the pub. But I'd never had like a little extra in there just in case we wanted to do something that wasn't planned. So I thought if I do this... And just build this up um, then I can feed that into my takeaway uh, envelope and then it will just have a little bit of a buffer in it. Uh, book fund is getting 10 which I am really pleased about because um, I really want to get audible um, done and dusted. I did notes. <laughs> So I'm currently paying $7.99 and we get 12 credits and that works out at $95.88. However, if I do the annual subscription, it's 110 and I get 24 credits. 24 <laughs> for £10 more. Um, so I am definitely uh, aiming to get this done as quickly as possible. So we can mark off five more icons because each icon is two. So we're getting all the way to here. That's nearly two bookshelves done. This is another one I definitely want to complete. I, I'm, I'm just trying to work out in, in my head if I can do that this month. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Oh, it might be a bit tight for this month, but certainly the beginning of next month, which would be absolutely fantastic. £10 going into book funds. Um, this is by the Queen Bee Makes. Yet another Etsy um, shop uh, that is amazing. <laughs> Stop being amazing, everybody. <laughs> um, rainy day. So I noticed there was a, a bit bigger number popping up. Um, I'm trying to do it so the numbers are quite low. But there is a 15 there. So I decided this week that I'm going to clear that 15. Um, there's one more big one at the bottom. There's a 25. I kept that in. Um, but it's all the way down there, so I don't need to think about it yet. <laughs> um, so let's mark off the 15. Oh, it feels like this is getting done quite quickly, actually. How much have we got? Let me just do a quick count up. 55, 55 in there already. Wow. <laughs> um, so I've got Cancer Flick and Bojo. And I have decided um, that I've, I'm, I've got £30 left. And I am going to share it between the two. Because I really want to get this one completed. Um, this is for my puppy, Bojo. Um, and there's not that much left so hopefully in a couple of weeks I can get this done. So I'll start with this and then hopefully, um, or do I start with? No, start with this. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> so it's a roll and save. It was a roll and scratch, but I've scratched everything off now. Um, I, I was here last. So one, two is a six. What colour shall I use? Uh, shall I use an orange? So I've kind of got 15 for each, so I can roll again. One, start at the top, two, three, four, five. Ooh. <laughs> so that's 14. I'm just going to do another one. <laughs> oh, and that was a two. Uh, so that's 19. Okay, great. I don't have any coins, so I'm just going to stuff. 20. <laughs> uh, 
which means that Bojo is at 20, 40, 60, 70. So I think there's only about 20 more pounds to go and then that one's done. Um, so I'm just going to put a dot because I'm bound to forget where I was and then I'll remember. <laughs> um, so, counter flick. Oh, I love this one. So this one here, um, according to the instructions, um, the numbers are between 1 and 10, um, which is brilliant. But I've added all the dots up and they all add up to 9. So I'm thinking, well, I don't know. I, I think there might only be one 10. Um, so the idea is you just, uh, you're meant to flick, but I just throw. <laughs> and wherever it lands the most on, which this time is here, um, is what you scratch off. And can I use this to scratch? Oh, yes. So that is a seven, which means I've got three left. Do I go for it? <laughs> I'm going to. Because I have, um, I don't know, do you have like um, a backup pot of miscellaneous coins just in case anything goes wrong? <laughs> That's what I've got here. <laughs> um, right, it's okay, let's do it. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> there we go, that one. So we're at seven. Oh, we're coming across all the sevens. Okay. At least now I know that uh, in the last episode I wasn't sure if that was a one or a seven. <laughs> At least now I know. <laughs> so ten and there we go. Four pounds. So Fourteen is going into counterflick. This is by Dilly Dally Budgets. Uh, yet another fantastic person on Etsy. Um, love all her stuff. Um, that's why I need to really boost my, um, I really need to put some money into my Etsy savings. Um, when I have finished, uh, just real quick, uh, Bojo, I am going to start a grocery booster. Um, I have been um, living on the £60 a week grocery um allocation since since january and it's it's great and it does work and you can do it but um every now and then you kind of get to the bottom of your freezer your, your store cupboards are empty <laughs> your parents have given you all their food <laughs> um so um yes so I'm doing I'm going to do a grocery booster and I just thought what a great way it's not going to be a biggie um but then I I can just dribble in some extra cash into that and then uh once every couple of months um I can take the money out for the grocery booster and um a shop to my heart's content <laughs> if I want <laughs> that cake <laughs> I, I am going to be able to buy it. Um, yeah, so <laughs> um, that's it. So I'm going to go to the bank on um, Saturday, give them that really manky uh, five. And um, uh, yeah, no, I, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for watching. You honestly, you're all amazing. Uh, thank you for all your comments. And can I just say... Uh, Thank you so much for the feedback. I should have said that earlier. Um, but thank you so much to each and every one of you for your feedback regarding the um, uh, laminating the challenges. Um, it was a bit of a mixed bag. Um, so I, I think I'm going to try with the laminate going to the edge. Um, but... I don't think I'm going to swap them all up at the same time. I'll just dribble it in and then I can wait for feedback. And if people are hating it, then I can I can go back to it going over the edge. Um, but I do have a cunning plan for all you people that said that when you um, when you use the uh, acetone, it, it can uh, mess with the edges. 
I have a plan. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, you're brilliant. And um, see you in the next one. Bye.